we want to be able to make you guys more efficient, more effective, and more powerful on your skis. And we do that through a series of neural, neural conditioning and dynamic myofascial release, which is how we move the body to accept the changes and change the, the feeling of the foot and your awareness of your body in skiing. So Carlisle's taking Emma through uh, what we call a foot scan, which is measuring pressure forces through her feet. And in our opinion, when you're skiing, um, the way the pressure works in your feet very much dictates how easy it is to, to orientate your ski boot, turn the ski and get overall balance in, on your ski. What we can see here is the centre of mass of Emma's body, which is highlighted by this point here. We can see the distribution of pressure, we can see 35% in, in her heels and 15% in her forefeet, so she's very much in her heels. If you think about the consequence of that when you're skiing, um, it's something if we change, if we, if we can balance the weight between forefoot and rear foot, then that's, she's going to be more balanced on her skis and it will facilitate her skiing, facilitate her access into a turn. Try and clear the neural tension, that means the way that the brain and the spinal cord uh, receive her whole body movement. So if we can clear some of the tension, it opens the way for us to move her and get more efficiency of moving through the feet as described earlier and also take some of the tension out the hip that she was just... What Carlisle's doing now is, is testing the uh, ability of Emma to stabilise her core and mobilise uh, the rest of her body. And often what we find is when people stabilise their core because of inhibitions in their skeletal system, it's actually harder for them when they activate their core to manage that. And that, that highlights the problem, which is if we can clear, it makes you more efficient in, uh, in working through your core. And the core is the bridge that controls the movement in the upper and lower body, so it's a pretty important part. So when Emma loses her balance, it's actually a good thing. It means she's moving into what we call a dark zone. Uh, point of reference to the brain and muscle that doesn't quite have right yet. It's definitely in there, it's wired in there, but she hasn't used it for a while, so it's like, a, oh, where are we? That improves really quickly and helps lock in those changes. In three words, Will, sum it up. The next one. Amazing. Back at that, lots of fun. I am fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> really good. I feel much, much more loose uh, and supple, and I feel lighter on my feet, and I ache, but in a really good way, a really positive way. And for skiing? For skiing, oh wow, well, it's going to get my hips much, much freer. I'm going to be able to do those steeps this year. Steeps are going to be mine. <laughs> if you're a skier, you want to be getting down to Ski Body Boot Camp this winter um, before you get out to the slopes. It's just going to make your body feel fantastic. <laughs>